Hey YouTube family, how you doing? Paul here at you know Paul Phillips Fix as I posted in the beginning of the video. You're not idiots, right? Uh, I did a timing belt last week on a uh, 2000 L300, my buddy Saturn. It's got a three liter V6 in it. Uh, we did it once before then. We didn't have a book. I wasn't sure of the pulley set up, so he finally got the book and I was able to read it and do it as was directed by the book with the sequences of the pulleys and 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock angles, marks on the two idler pulleys and the uh, left tensioner pulley is supposed to go an eighth of an inch above the uh, line for the tension on that. So that was all done, but now he's telling me he has some strange noise and vibration with the car. He's convinced it's a timing chain, I mean the timing belt, so uh, he's going to come over and we're going to see what's going on with that and uh, try to figure out what this noise is. I don't know, I'm kind of thinking it's not the timing belt. We did that correctly, there shouldn't be an issue with that. Uh, one of the pulleys wasn't replaced though, the, uh, the set that came with the belt only came with two pulleys and there's a total of three pulleys on that engine. So we'll be back and we'll see what's going on with that, okay? All right, for watching. Okay, here's the car. What? I'm doing a video for YouTube. I said I didn't think it was a belt because we did the belt correctly. You hear that noise? Look at this black smoke. I'm just in the car. That sounds like that's coming from the third pulley on that belt. Now which belt is burning? Is it my inner belt or the outer belt? Probably your inner belt. That could be the belt hitting something too. Yeah, that's a belt burner. Alright, shut it down. That definitely sounds like it's coming from the timing belt, right guys? First thing we're gonna do is pull the uh, accessory belt off. Yes. And see if it goes away. I don't think it's gonna go away. Let me tell her. See, but you know what's funny? That's not black smoke. White smoke. I know. Rubber, you figured it would get, maybe, I don't know. It just started yesterday. This sucks. This car has been nothing but a pain now, in the ass. I sprayed, I sprayed all the Pulleys. The pulleys with WD-40. Yeah, see if it would loosen up. Can I put it back together? I slowly tested everything. Yeah, I know. The engine didn't make I no know noise. That. I know that. The thing. Yeah, the accessories didn't make any noise. I went slowly to make sure this car was quiet. You didn't hear nothing. I drove it down to Yonkers, turned around, and came back. Everything reset. The car worked good for... Few hundred miles. Few hundred miles. And now we're getting a, a pulling noise. And it sounds like the belt. Like the belt might be jumping. But if the belt is jumping, we would get misfires. Anybody want to buy a Saturn, 2000 Saturn? How many miles? Uh, 77,000 miles. 77,000 miles. I couldn't do that to any of my subscribers. This car has I been nothing either. but a fucking I nightmare. Everything's basically new on it. New injectors, new steering components, all kinds of shit. New timing belt. What else? Belt brakes. Oh, your hubcap is not here. Oh no. Hi, YouTube family. Uh, Paul back here again. We're pulling this inspection cover over out on the uh, timing belt to see if there's a problem with that pulley in there and if the uh, belt is damaged. Uh, to, we jumped the gun and just started doing this before filming. First thing you gotta do is remove your air box, disconnect your mass airflow sensor connector, pull that out. There's one bolt that holds the air box in. On the left side, I forget what size that is. What is that, a 15 mil? No. 10, 10, 10 millimeter? 10 millimeter. 10 millimeter. 10 millimeter uh, screw bolt. It's a, yeah like a sheet metal screw 10 mil uh you're going to remove the air box disconnect these two coolant lines here 
two, get them out of the way. The two T20, the two, two T30s. T30s to remove this harness connector. Uh, you're gonna need 15 and 16 mil uh, sockets to get your motor mounts out. You're gonna have to take the motor mount apart to get it out. And on this one, this last bolt on the right hand side, you gotta leave that bolt in there because you will not get that bolt back down in there if you try to put that bracket in and then get the bolt in you're going to hit the uh, body so you got to lower that bracket in there with that bolt in place all right that's a quick rundown on that so it's a few uh, 15 and 16 mils i got a little tray out here it makes the job much easier you pull your stuff out and lay it out in order you're going to need e tor e torx e10 e Well, you want to pull the belt off first? You got to pull the accessory belt off. No, no. And check everything first? Yeah, we're going to pull the belt and make sure that sound is still there. That was a 15 or 16 mil on that. 15 oh, that's a mil. 15 mil. All right, to get your accessory belt off, you need a 15 mil socket. You're going to put... All right, to pull that uh, accessory pulley off, you're gonna need a 15 mil socket. Put it on a, a tensioner pulley and pull towards the front of the car. It relieves the tension on the accessory belt. Make sure you note the routing of that belt so you're able to get it back on there correctly. Goes around these, around these, up around this, around this. Yeah, you got it, you got a picture of it already. It goes down around the alternator, up around the water pump, back around the crank pulley, then up around the compressor and the power steering pump. While you're doing anything on your timing belt, check your accessory belt, turn it over, flip it. Bend it and look if there's any cracks or damage to those strips in there. If you notice that has any excessive wear or cracking on it, good time to replace that now. You could leave that down or just lower it. I don't think it's going to get tangled. Right. Got to get your ratchet off, Frank. All right, we're just gonna kick this engine over and see if that noise is still there to verify that that's coming from the timing belt pulley and not one of the accessory pulleys. We're pretty certain it's coming from the timing belt pulley or within that area. Don't run your car for a long time without the accessory belt on because the water pump will not be operating, but running it for a minute is not gonna hurt it. No noise. Huh? Not making any noise at all. Watch it be a power steering pulley going. And that wouldn't make noise in here? Well, it could vibrate. Mounted to the engine, you know what I mean? Alright, put the bolt back on again now. But well, why was the smoke coming out of the bottom? I don't know. Because the belt might have been slipping on the crankshaft pulley. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to put that accessory belt back on and see if we get that noise. All right, put the accessory belt back on and we got the noise back. I think it's coming from the power steering pump. power steering pump man turn power steering pump why is it smoking down there it's sliding on the uh crank pulley probably not smoking yet 
the smoke when I when I got here, the smoke was coming. I out. know. It was coming from the crank pulley. Yeah. Coming from the crank pulley because that pulley's locking up. It's making a belt slip. See the power steering pulley's wobbling? Yeah, I know that. Wobbling. Power steering pulley pump is shot. Let me make sure all of them are tight. Turn the uh turn the wheel. They're tight, the pulley's on tight. It's a bushing inside that's shot. Oh! Sometimes when I turn, I turn. See? When I turn, it's tight. Yeah, yeah, because you're loading the pump. The power steering pump. It's definitely that pulley, it's wobbling. Power steering pump. Power steering pump, Frank. It's under full load. All right, you need a power steering pump. All right, I'm glad because we just did the timing belt on this and uh, we did it right. I would have been real pissed off if the timing belt was giving us another issue. Now it's his power steering pump is shot. All right, how hard is that one to do? Shouldn't be too bad. A few lines. Huh? few lines you're still gonna sell this after you fix this yes. right you might as well keep it now you've done everything that you can do on the car <laughs> feel the pulley all over the place got playing it no you feel it well while this engine is at this stage I'm just gonna explain to you how you would change this power uh, timing belt you got to remove this tensioner pulley there's two, I believe, 15 mil bolts on the back, right? Yes. They're 15 mil bolts. They're hard to see. You got to kind of feel them. There's one above the other, one right above the pulley, one right below, but they're on the side. They're going sideways into the block. Then you got to remove this belt cover. Oh, you're going to have to remove the far right idler pulley. You got to use the uh, timing tool, line your uh, position up with the motor. Where you're right before your timing mark down here, there's an indicator. You'll put a white mark on the line on your uh, crank pulley. Rotate it to you're right before that mark. Then you're going to pull this pulley off, which is a bitch. It's an E22 or E20. We uh, had to... E20. Uh, we had to uh, crank the motor with the starter, bump the starter. You'll put an E20 on there on a breaker bar, rest it on the frame and bump the motor forward with your starter a few times, it'll break that bolt loose. Then you can remove the uh, pulley bolts and put your timing tool on. You're gonna have to make sure all your cam marks are lined up, put the uh, timing tool blocks in. The red one goes on the left side, the right one is the green one, and the green one goes with the long side up, the red one goes with the long side, side down. down. And this gets set, this, this tensioner gets set at 11 o'clock and this tension it gets set at six o'clock no ten o'clock ten ten o'clock okay ten. the middle one is at ten o'clock what you're going to do is you're going to turn the tensioner no, as far no, no, away the, the, the it's not one. six o'clock the furthest one is one eighth of an inch before the line one eighth of an inch before the line I'll, I'll see if I can post a video on that. Hopefully I got clips of when we did it so I could better explain it to you guys. All right, now we're gonna get ready to do the uh, power steering pump.